So I can only choose one? I thought I was done with these tests. Welcome back to some more control, the foundation. Uh, <laughs> I can remember what the run button is. Here we go. Okay, so do we want a power that does that kind of stuff? Or do we want another maybe weapon that after several shots fired does that sort of stuff? Oop. Now, I'm a big fan of that kind of stuff. I'm going to do this. Let's do this. Complete the challenge. Oh, it's this way. I see. this we like. Thank you, fun powers. This broken pillar is called the nail. It was broken by something, and now the astral plane is bleeding into the foundation, which will destroy the oldest house, the bureau, and everyone inside. I need to find four locks or keys or whatever to stop that from happening. But I'm the director. I've handled worse. This should be simple. Ish. You with me? I think we take that as a yes. Now, I did think when we went this way before that there was a ledge just down here that had an entrance on it. But, of course, Oh, look, here, look, look. It's dark, all right? I can't see anything. From the desk of Director Northmore to all Foundation personnel, it has come to my attention that members of our exploration teams have been relieving themselves of their God-given liquids in the chasms of the Foundation. As per earlier orders, all personnel currently serving in the Foundation must expel fluids stroke urinate stroke do their business exclusively into the correctly coloured and labelled vials provided by research personnel. To do otherwise disrupts the ongoing study of the Foundation and demonstrates a profound disrespect not only to the board and its oldest house, but also to the bureau you so proudly serve. If I discover firsthand any agents treating the oblivion as their personal lavatory, 
they will be forced to go down there and personally clean up their mess. Signed, Director Broderick Northmore. All right, no peeing in the chasm. I got a ability point for... Oh, is it a secret area, maybe? Ah! Okay, you're still alive. Really? They can hide in boxes now? Ah! Away. Really? There's more still? Ah. Really? Where? Where are more? Oh. Okay. All right. Well, that's kind of cruel. We've basically got... Um, what are the... Dark Souls boxes with mouths called? Aha, uh -huh, I see. Skills coming into... Oh, is that a rope? You can climb ropes. in the warehouse. Well, that doesn't sound remotely sinister. Huh. Don't mind if I do. Is this a bureau ID badge? It looks so old. Hope will definitely want to see this. On the pyramid and geometry. I've been going through my library researching pyramids and triangles. If that shape does relate to the board, as Northmore says, then perhaps our predecessors in the occult can offer some insight through their geometric knowledge. In esotericism, the triangle is closely associated with the Holy Trinity and other three-part concepts, past, present, future, mind, body, spirit. Interestingly, the term board implies multiple parts. Upright triangles in Judeo-Christian imagery indicate ascent into the rational divine realm inverted it signifies a descent into the corporeal human naturally the ascent is masculine and the four is feminine adam and eve that's just a bit of old world patriarchy it's 1964 now and we're all well past that silliness considering the above what does the inverted triangle tell us about the board they're obviously not corporeal or human perhaps they wish to be or once were the likeliest answer is simply that theological imagery cannot help us define alien entities, but still the pyramid seems significant. Shapes have power, and clearly so does the board. On the history of the oldest house. The oldest house has revealed much to me during my months in the Foundation, but many questions remain. Primarily, the three etchings bewilder me. What is their significance? If the house has changed shape over its lifetime, as I've theorized, then was a tree its first form? I sent a team to the Schwartzman building 
in search of pre-settlement accounts of Manhattan Island. From those, I discovered a single relevant line. And there I found a tree not known to me, the devil twisted within its bark. That line, taken with the fact that certain American cultures believed some trees would offer wisdom and guidance, is indeed interesting. However, it's hardly firm evidence, and though I am bound to the oldest house, I remain a man of science. Of course, there are numerous ancient beliefs regarding trees. Yggdrasil, the tree of knowledge, Yaxi, Mix, Che. Some cultures offered blood sacrifices to trees, while others claimed trees endowed chosen individuals with inhuman powers. Do New York City's many murders act as sacrifice to the oldest house? Does the house have a chosen champion? Is it me? Ooh, let's hope so. Twenty-eight days now spent inside what we're calling the oldest house. Northmore insists on the name. I'm too tired to ask why. I'm not sleeping well. Her orders. Me and my research team have established a permanent examination lab in the foundation. I basically live down here now like the obedient head of research father raised me to be. I spend my days investigating that odd pillar when Northmore found the handgun. The work was half-hearted at first, I admit. But then I discovered numerous non-Aristotelian energy channels converging at its base. Ley lines, dragon roads, Heiligalinian, call them what you want. But this pillar is the crossroads. I started building something, equal parts talisman and technology, an array that can impose order on the lay junctions. That's the idea, at least. I'll see what I'm done. I prefer to work away from the pillar. I'm not the only one who feels like that thing has eyes. So how... Oh, oh, hello. Uh, I don't know. Which one do I want? Was that the first level? Oh, is this? I don't know where I am. What do I need you for? Do I need to just bring you with me? I've no idea where I am or where I'm going. But I like the look of that. Oh, am I actually going all the way back up to the quarry? Entry day plus 51. Northmore has ordered an all hands search for objects similar to the service weapon. He claims there are more in the house, though I don't see how he's so certain. We do strange lately, talking about joining greater causes and frequently mentioning a pyramid. After pressing him, he finally described this pyramid to me. Inverted, whack, mathematically perfect. Oddly enough, Adam and the other eight have shown me numerous inverted triangles painted on the cave walls. Surely there's a connection. I don't see it yet. As far as occult symbols go, triangles are by no means rare. Flood, Levi, Kroll, they used that shape like it was going out of fashion. Standing on their base, triangles signify stability and strength. Inverted on their points, they represent conflict and stagnation. Of course, the orientation is just a matter of perspective. Looking at the pyramid from below gives you one, from above, another. Northmore says he looks up at the inverted pyramid. I have to wonder, is anyone standing over it, looking down? 
I intend it to be me. and I'll do it again. Meteor Hill, AWB3. Note, per archival mandates, 8A, this document has been edited to meet the current administrative standards. Certain terminology may be out of date. Details. The retrieved material was subjected to Fjellstrom's array configuration 74B, but the tests were halted as the matter began to physically elude the equipment. Attempts to constrain the element were made, but under further stress it became vaporous. The researchers suffered corrosive injuries prior to their deaths. The child victims at Meteor Hill recounted the material enveloping them in a pleasant manner upon making contact, but when discovered, they were redacted and screaming. Bodily changes were perceived immediately, deformities, loss of pigment in the skin and hair, and mental symptoms surfaced in subsequent examinations, confusion, heightened aggression. The Department of Public Knowledge and Diversions gave statements claiming the incident was caused by debris from poorly made Russian satellites, which the public accepted with no complications. The children were sent to the Bureau's recuperation facility in Redacted to receive help away from society. <laughs> Game, you have a bleakness that is unique. Here we go, you. Nothing like a save point to make you feel at ease. Good? No. my boy. He's in there. Oh, he's done. We got him. that. That's what we want. Ooh. What? Schnipes? Wesley Schnipes? Where are you? Okay, all right, that's them taken care of. So, I do not like that noise. Oh, Jesus. Okay, it did me no damage, but it, it uh, didn't look healthy, that's for sure. 
Whoa. Jesse's changed. So I will take my what? On the invention of the power core. After numerous attempts, I finally found a way to intercept and contain the ambient energy of the key lines in a kind of non-Aristotelian battery I've dubbed the power core. I'm surprised he didn't call it the non-Aristotelian battery. I admit it was difficult capturing an energy I can barely measure, much less interact with. Luckily, it seems that the porous stone of the Foundation's caverns possesses such conductive qualities. Using stone flakes and copper wire, my power cores collect significant power. My early prototypes collected too much, in fact, but I've since reinforced the container. We don't yet know the repercussions of tapping into this power field. As a precaution, these devices should not be taken outside of the house. Ideally, the Bureau should no longer need to rely on typical energy sources. It's my greatest feat of engineering yet. I've always had an interest in invention. I like the creativity that it allowed. Set within the firm boundaries of logic and physics, Father never approved calling it a mundane science. With that in mind, I dedicate this invention to Theodore Ash Sr. May he scowl in peace. That was a bit easy. <clears throat> I feel you might be some time. Progress. Never a good sign, is it? Uh, so, my reward for getting up here. A shifting fragment. Lovely. Okay, so... Ooh, oh. Getting a bit of... A bit of schwa off that. <gasps> We've made it to the warehouse. Etching, like the one I used to get in here. All right, we've found the etching. Let's uh, boogie, and we'll see you next time. Here's our grief chamber. Hello. Young man. <laughs> <laughs>